Hey there guys, so Deontay Wilder has explained that Tyson Fury was the one who suggested that Deontay Wilder gave him some step-aside money so that Wilder could pursue a unification fight with the winner of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. This is what Deontay Wilder had to say on the subject. I would do that, but we're not going to beg nobody for nothing. I'm a warrior, I'm a king, and my mentality is savage. If the man wants to get his A whooped, in the ring, then so be it. I tried to give him another road, and I tried to give him what he talked about the first time when he said, why don't you and Joshua fight, and I can come back. I'm only giving him what he asked for. Most of these guys get what they asked for. I'm going to go ahead and call it. I think Ruiz is going to beat Anthony Joshua, and when he do, it'll be me and him. Okay, so first of all, no, no, just no. I don't think he's going to fight Anthony Joshua. I don't think he's going to fight Tyson Fury. He thinks Ruiz is going to win. He's hoping Ruiz is going to win. Because he thinks Ruiz is easy meat. He thinks, I can beat Ruiz easy. All I have to do is land one punch. I've seen Joshua knock him down. And I believe I punch harder than Anthony Joshua. So I can finish him if I get him hurt. But Deontay Wilder is going to have to stop this charade at some stage. Because he's going to have to have a meaningful fight. Now what I mean by that is... He's going to have to face someone who isn't just coming off a two and a half year layoff, losing all that weight and getting a lucky draw or fighting someone like Luis Ortiz where he needed a get out of jail free card because he was hurt badly in that fight and one more punch on the whiskers would have knocked him out. So the ref gave him an extra minute, gave him an extra minute to calm down, gather his senses, get his feet under him and so he could go back and beat Luis Ortiz. That is what happened. Go and watch the fight if you do not believe me. So it seems Deontay Wilder is back at his old tricks again, saying, this guy's ducking him, that guy's ducking him. Nobody cares who's ducking you. Who are you even fighting anyway? Luis Ortiz? That was announced in May, right? Joshua's fight week. But I mean, there's no venue. There's no date. Maybe Showtime can't gather the money to put you on. Showtime can no longer afford to pay Deontay Wilder 2 million to fight Luis Ortiz in front of an empty crowd because Deontay Wilder cannot produce the revenue that they need to do so. They've overpaid Deontay Wilder in the past, and it has ruined Showtime. That is why many fights are now moving over to Fox, who are under the PBC banner. So they can't get the money together. That is why the fight hasn't been made. Deontay Wilder had a great opportunity. 15 million to fight Dominic Brazil. How much did he get anyway? I guarantee you it wasn't nowhere near that much. He was offered that much to fight Dominic Brazil. And then a two-fight deal with Anthony Joshua on the zone. He turned it down and now Showtime are scraping the bottom of the barrel to try and put on his fight with Luis Ortiz, which maybe won't happen now because they haven't announced it yet. It's supposed to be in November. Well, the clock is ticking. And remember, he is contracted to fight Tyson Fury on the 22nd of February and he has to fight Dylan White before May 17. As long as Dylan White is reinstated as mandatory to Deontay Wilder, then Dylan White has to have his opportunity before May 17. So Deontay Wilder has some tough tests ahead of him. And if they cannot gather the money soon for Luis Ortiz, then I don't believe the fight will happen. Again, this is Deontay Wilder back at his old tricks, trying to get into the media, using Tyson Fury, using Anthony Joshua, and now Andy Ruiz Jr. also. Because Andy Ruiz Jr.'s stock has gone up crazy since fighting Anthony Joshua. And Deontay Wilder is a fanboy of Andy Ruiz Jr. Because everyone in America knows who Andy Ruiz Jr. is, but they don't know who Deontay Wilder is because he doesn't continuously give the fans good fights and step up to the plate and fight in competitive fights where he could lose. He fought Tyson Fury because he believed there was no way that Tyson Fury could beat him. He believed Tyson Fury was going to be out of shape and was turning up for a paycheck. Boy, did he get that wrong. And Luis Ortiz, he thought he was catching him at the right time. And this is just facts. I'm not necessarily trying to put Deontay Wilder's achievements down, but Deontay Wilder calls Luis Ortiz the boogeyman of the division. But then again, who has Luis Ortiz ever really beaten? But Luis Ortiz is a good fighter, but he is most certainly not the boogeyman of the division. Deontay Wilder's boogeyman is Dylan White, and maybe Anthony Joshua. And Deontay Wilder needs to either step up or shut up. But anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this? Deontay Wilder saying it was Tyson Fury's idea to step aside and allow Deontay Wilder to fight the winner of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up, and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.